Yo, what's going on? Son of Chaos talking to you, and welcome to my blog number three. Uh, basically, in this vlog, I'm basically just going to talk about anything. Anything that y'all can think of. Especially, you know, video games that I have been playing. But first off, let's talk about stuff that is going on with me. Like, a whole bunch of shit was just going on with my, like, just a lot of shit. Um, the first thing is that I want to talk about if what's going on with me. So... If you guys are wondering how I am doing, um, well, I am actually doing all right. Um, I'm right now. I'm just actually relaxing at the moment. I'm actually done looking for jobs because I've actually gotten contact with uh, one of the managers from my main job, and I was gonna ask him when I was supposed to come back, and. From what I was telling them is that, well, there's a slight chance that I might come back during August, either the 24th or the 25th. I can't remember what it was, but it's either the 24th or the 25th of August. I'm not sure, but we'll just have to uh, just, you know, well, you know what I mean. Just, you know, just take a look at what's going on with the uh, virus situation, the coronavirus situation and... You know, go from there. Though, nine times out of ten, I'm definitely going to be wearing a mask. Most likely at my main job, because no mask equals no work, period. If you, can't, if you don't have a mask, you can't work, period. Speaking of masks, I will get to that on the fourth thing that I will talk about here in a minute. The first thing that I want to talk about, no, second thing, excuse me, I messed up. Um, second thing... Um, uh, update on jobs. Well, as you guys probably already know, like I said, I'm not looking for jobs at the moment. Like, here's the thing. Like, Domino's, like, I actually like working there, even though I was doing, like, boxes the entire time. But, you know, it was what it was. I mean, I had fun. I was working on boxes, and... I'm not sure if I did work on anything else besides boxes. I mean, that's all they had me do, but unfortunately, they had to let me go because, you know, they can't just have somebody working on boxes, which, you know, that's kind of BS to me because, you know, you got a lot of motherfuckers in Domino's working on boxes. And see, the thing is, the employees at Domino's feel bad for letting me let go. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they kind of feel bad because I'm pretty sure they didn't want me to let... What am I trying to say here? I'm pretty sure that, you know, they didn't want to... I didn't want to be let go from that job. I'm pretty sure they didn't want me to leave. But, you know, I didn't have a choice. Like, they want somebody just making on pizzas, which is, you know, that's kind of bullshit, but whatever. It is what it is. But, you know, I had fun. Plus, I got my uh, stuff that I ordered from Amazon, video games, which that'll be the third topic that I will get on here within a minute. Um, but, yeah. And not to mention, I was going to go to Jimmy John's to apply there for a job, just just for a temporary job till I go back to my main job in August. But that didn't work out too well, considering that, well... Apparently, from when I got off the phone from last week before last, they were not hiring. I guess they already got people working over there, I suppose. I didn't know, like, I, don't, I didn't understand why they didn't tell me. They seemed like they were hiring, but I guess not. Who knew? All right, third thing is that I want to talk about, you know, video games that I have been playing. I have been playing a lot of games. Uh, the first game that I've been actually playing was uh, YS Memories of Sassetta. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a uh, action RPG. At least I think it's action. It's one. Of, it's one of those RPGs where you're basically like moving. Like, how can I put this in a way? Oh, like the game is so motherfucking good. Like I can't even tell you guys. Like go check the game out like i think it's one of those moving rpg games where you're basically you know fighting monsters like you progress like there's a progress system where you're basically like there's like this little red bar where you're basically like 
progressing as you level up. And that red bar basically tells you when you're leveling up or not. I like that kind of shit. Like, I just... Like, oh my god, dude. Like... I like the YS series so damn motherfucking much. I wish I got into those RPGs. Uh, like... What? I want to say, like, two years ago? Like... Ugh, I feel so bad not getting into the YS RPG games. JRPG games, mind you. I feel bad, dude. Like, why did I not knew about these series long time ago? Not to mention, I think there's one that's uh, basically Japan only. I forgot what that one was. I'll have to look it up as soon as I get done with this video. Because, holy shit, man. The YS series is so damn good. Like, holy shit. I can't put it in the words. But I do love the progression in the series. I do love it. I do love the mechanics in the game. Like, you're progressing, but at the same time, you're fighting monsters. And you can rinse and repeat over and over and over and over again. I mean, I get it. It's a broken record, but what are you gonna do? You know? Alright, second thing... Uh, the second game that I have been playing is that I have been playing uh, SpongeBob Battle of Bikini Bottom. Blech, I can't talk today. SpongeBob Battle of Bikini Bottom Hydrated for the Xbox One. Um, is if the reason why I haven't got the PS4 version, I I would have assumed it was going to be released two days before the Xbox One versions, from what I can tell. But yeah, I got the Xbox One version because, well, apparently on the PS4, they didn't release it on the day it was supposed to come out. But Xbox One did, which I find it funny. And, you know, all I have to say, you know, that game is great and I just, I love it. It's like one of the most fun remakes I've actually ever played. Uh, especially Resident Evil 2 Remake, like, 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 dude, like, Resident Evil 2 Remake was so damn fun. I might actually consider up doing a long play of Resident Evil 2 Remake, not to mention Resident Evil 3. And you, and you, and if you guys are wondering how I did on Resident Evil 3, I actually did pretty good on it. I've actually beaten it, like, at least within two days, I think. Well, I want to say, yeah, it was two days, I want to say. As of right now, I'm just trying to unlock stuff for the game, like... Like the infinite... Ugh, the infinite machine gun, and not to mention the infinite uh, rocket launcher. That is what I am working on, technically, at the moment. As of right now. I'm trying to get back into Resident Evil 3 Remake, but for some reason, I just want to take a long break from that game. Because unlocking weapons is fucking hard. It really is. But I will tell you one thing. Like, if people are expecting me to uh, play the game in hard mode, you bet your ass I'm going to. As a matter of fact, I might do that at some point. I'm not sure when. But I can tell you one thing. I am definitely using the infinite machine gun because... Ugh, fuck one bite, one, fuck zombies biting you with one bite, oh my god, holy shit, alright, the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, Florida cases that are going on in, uh, well, you know, the coronavirus cases that are going on in Florida, like, holy shit, dude, like, you know, I never would have expect Florida to mess up this bad, like, Honestly, I never would have expected them to mess up this bad. Um, okay, so from what I've been hearing from this dude that I was going to the store one time, is that, well, we were talking about the Florida coronavirus cases. And from what, from what that I have been gathering is that there are 300,000 cases. And I was like, dude, are you fucking serious? Are you literally fucking being serious right now? Like, 
Honestly, in my opinion, I think that, you know, Walt Disney should have stayed closed because we want to we want to make sure that, you know, we want to keep the virus from spreading. You see what I'm saying? Like, I think that's the right decision to make. I think everything should, you know, just start to close back the way it was because reopening seems to be a risk decision. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we're going to have a second wave soon and we have no idea how many cases that are going to be in the second wave. So, yeah, there's that. And I'm just like, you know, you got these people running around in these ma without any mask. And I'm just like, dude, there's a reason why people are wearing masks for a reason. They want to make sure that they keep the spread from spreading. That's the reason why. Because why else would they be wearing masks? It's not like we're running around looking like ninjas or something. Like, all of a sudden, we're wearing masks and end up looking like Sub-Zero. <laughs> like, just do. Like, yo, there's a reason why people are wearing masks for a reason. And now Florida's got like 300,000 cases. Not to mention to the people that are going to Walt Disney in Orlando, Florida. Are you fucking kidding me right now? For real? I don't know, dude. Like, you know... All I can say is, is that... Just let Mother Nature take its course. Because eventually... People are gonna figure out that, you know, you need to wear a mask so that way you won't get sick from this virus. And I'm like... The more you wear the... The more you wear the mask the less chances you're gonna get the virus. A lot of people say, you know, people are like, you know, I don't care. Like, if you get the corona, you get the corona. Me, personally, I don't wanna get sick from the corona, okay? Me, personally, I don't wanna get sick. Because, you know, apparently, you know, getting sick from the virus and dying is like the best way to go. No, it's not. And I can tell y'all, as of right now, I am going to do whatever it takes to beat this virus, okay? Like, I'm going to make sure that I shower every day, make sure that, you know, I drink my... Um, I don't know if you guys know about this, but, you know, if you add water and apple cider vinegar, that's supposed to clean out your bodies. That's supposed to clean out, you know, viruses out the body, as far as I'm concerned. I'm trying to remember what that is. If I ever make a video on it, I will I, I will show you guys how to do it. I, I will actually make a video of, uh, you know, apple cider with vinegar with water. I will actually make a video of that at some point. Uh, maybe next week, maybe. I think. Maybe next week. Uh... But yeah, dude, like, you got people running around without masks in, in Orlando, Florida, and I'm just like, you know, there's a reason why we wear a mask. But at the end of the day, it just comes to my attention that, you know, some people just don't want to follow the rules. Because, you know, following the rules isn't always the best way to other people's minds. But me personally, if, you know, if being... Like, if virus attacking you, how can I put this in a way? Like, if wearing a mask means, you know, ordering to protect you from that virus and not trying to get sick from that virus, I'm willing to take, I'm willing to take that chance. Honestly, I am willing, I am willing to wear a mask just so I won't get sick from that virus because I ain't fin to get sick, I'll tell you that much. Oh, in case of you guys haven't wondered uh, what my mask looks like, I'm going to show you here in just a second. Uh, this is what my mask uh, looks like. Um, I believe my mom is going to watch this uh, sometime. I can't remember when she said she was going to watch it. From all I'm guessing is that she's probably going to watch it like next week or something. At least that's what I figured at this point. But yeah, I think that's all I really have to say for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, and guys, make sure that you wear your mask, okay? 
There's a reason why we wear it for a reason. We want to make sure that we want to keep the virus from spreading and make sure we lower the curve down. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, that's all the time I have for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Son of Chaos, and I bid you all a fun farewell. Talk to you guys later, and remember, stay classy. Thank <laughs> you.